Amen. Good evening, everyone. Amen. We give honor to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Amen. from him, mm -hmm. him of which all blessings flow. Amen. Amen. We love the Lord. Why? Because he first loved us. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. The God mm -hmm. of heaven, the God that made heaven and earth. Amen. We're grateful to God. Amen. Still yet to be in the land of the living. We thank God for each and every one of you joining us on tonight for another awesome night of Tuesday night Bible study and discussion. And we're going to go before the Lord in prayer. Amen. And before we start our Bible Amen. study for tonight, we're going to uh, ask you to submit your prayer requests uh, as we uh, go before the Lord in prayer. Amen. I just want to share a testimony with you. Um, uh, sister, uh, she's not on here tonight, but one of our members, Sister Tanya Scholes, amen, came up for prayer uh, in the yeah. prayer line on a Sunday because she yes. was going through a situation with her job. And uh, actually, from Sunday, yesterday, today, uh, it, it was a situation that wasn't looking good. But we thank God that, amen, when she went and, uh, actually went down, I guess, to her head office, <laughs> had a talk with them. And they, I guess they patched her back into her, uh, uh, the, to, the, to, the, to the company that she works for. And everything, and everything worked out in her favor. Amen. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Thank God. We give God praise for that. Amen. We thank Amen. God. Amen. God. Amen. Prayer, prayer changes things. Do y'all hear what I'm saying? Amen. Oh, yeah. Amen. Prayer works. Amen. Every time. Amen. Amen. Prayer will fix it every time. And we just Amen. thank God for that, that blessing and that testimony and she shared with us. Amen. 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 Something going on. My video, is, oh, it, oh, my video went crazy for a moment up there on my screen, but uh, it, it, it came back. All right, anyone else have prayer requests? Come on and share. Amen, this time, real quickly. Amen, God bless you. This is Sister Ray, I uh, want you to pray for me. Pray for me, I've had a headache all day. I don't get headaches, I don't know. And I'm a little lightheaded, so just pray for me. Okay. How, how's your diet, Sister Ray? All right, I did pretty good today. No cheating, right? No. Ooh. My problem is not cheating, it's eating right. Eating. Well, that, well, that, well, that's what I, well, I didn't mean that by cheating, but yeah, that's what I mean with the diet. Yeah, you got I it. Ate, I ate, you know, yeah. ate. today it's just, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. You drink a lot of water today? You know, I don't, I don't think I drank any water today. Oh, no, no. water. Well, guess what? Get you some water and pray over it. Amen. Get you some water Amen. now. You got a bottle of water, get some. Force yeah. yourself to take some down, all right? We we believe in your healing. Oh, I did have a little bit of water. But you have but a little bit of water. Not like I've been drinking. Absolutely. Amen. We, we, we're decreeing Amen. your healing in Jesus' name on tonight. Amen, somebody? Amen. 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 Praise God. Amen. Anyone else? Come on and share. Yes, this is uh, Deacon Ray. Uh, you know, uh, she's a cheater. That's her biggest problem. You know what I'm saying? She don't eat right like she's supposed to. Uh -oh. she grab up everything. And, you know, I guess she's doing it in Jesus' name so she don't feel as though it's going to affect her. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But you got to uh, eat right. You can't just reach and grab everything. Oh, yeah. That's another story. I, I want you to reach and grab. I, I want <laughs> you to continue to pray for the people in church. I hear they found. Four more. I mean, eight yes, more. they're gonna keep uh, finding them too, Deacon Ray. You watch. You know what I'm saying? Eight That's more right. people alive. Pray Amen. for them. Michigan State. Yes. Oh my God. You know, there's so yes. much happening in the world. Oh and, my you know, God. Uh, the devil is doing his jobs because he's mm. secretly killing the destroyed. So the guy, after he did what he did, he committed suicide. He killed himself. My mm. Lord. Bad. So, you know, we want to keep. You know, praying for the world, praying for what's Amen. going on in the world, and pray for the churches. Amen. Amen. The sanctified churches. Amen. 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 Glory to God. Amen. Anyone, anyone else, real quick? Don't pray forget for Pay for us. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, Sparky. Don't forget pay for our family and stuff. Absolutely. Amen. Absolutely, Sparky. We believe in God for you and, and mom and everybody. Amen. Your entire Amen. family. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Come on and share. Continue, continue praying for Dr. Perkins 
and her mother expressed that she would continue, or uh, that God would continue doing miraculous work as far as her health is concerned. Amen. Just Dr. Perkins and her mother. Dr. Perkins and family. Absolutely, Dr. Perkins. Right. Also, too, we got Minister Carwell on with us tonight. I, I would like if you could lead us in prayer. Amen. On tonight. All right, uh, Minister. Pray, pray for, uh, pray for the Shaw family, first amen. lady, and, and all the children. All our children, wherever they may be in this world, all our children. Amen. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Amen. Anyone else? Real quick. Yes. Keep my cousin Janet in prayer. Amen. So God will keep uplifting her with the Holy Ghost. Amen. Let's, let's just keep her in prayer. Amen. Cousin Janet. <coughs> We believe in God for her that she'll continue to walk in the light as as truly as he is the light. Amen. Amen. Pray for the Staples family and for whoever put that message, the text message that you sent out. I saw that. Yeah. Pray for that person too, because they really need Jesus. They need Jesus. Mm. I don't care what they claim they are. They need deliverance. Uh-huh. And one of our group texts, yeah, somebody uh I think somebody may have changed the phone number, but we, we, you know, we, we, we go, you know, go, <laughs> go pray for ignorance that they get delivered. Amen. 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 Pray for the Latham, Riley, Davis, Jones family. Absolutely. And, and um, Sister Barbara, your sister-in-law. Yes. Yes, absolutely. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Continue praying for our bishop that God will continue healing him and his, his body and that. Yes, Absolutely. Lord. Amen. Yes, in the name of Jesus, we believe God. Amen. Amen. All right. Amen. Is that everybody? Amen. We just thank God for you on tonight, everyone. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Lord. Been all day, even since I've been on here. So I'm going to do it, and I know God is able. But just by chance, uh, if I happen to get in a coughing mode, I, I want you to continue on with the prayer. If you, but I'm sure I'm trusting in God that I will be able to do it and continue. Amen. Out. Amen. We, we believe so. Amen. Yes, we believe Amen. Tonight and truly, God, Amen. you on tonight, God. Don't you give my this prayer, God? And we yes. asking you, God, in the name of Jesus, to continue to watch over each and every one of us, God. And God, we ask you to bless the Perkins family, God, in the name yes, of Jesus, yes. whatever they stand in need of on today, God. God, we ask you to look over for Frankie and his wife and the children, God. God, we know that there's no problem too hard for you, God, on tonight. God, you have really showed yourself in 2023, God. Thank you for the miracles that you have already performed, God. We thank you, God, because truly, God, we don't know your plans. But God, we thank you for whatever, God, that you allow to come our way, God. We thank you, God, for the healing, God, that you've already put in motion, God, in our bodies, God. God, we thank you, God, for our mind, God. As long as we got our mind, God, we know that we can call upon you, God. We can Amen. continue to your holy name, God. And God, we thank you right now for Brother Ray on tonight, his family, yeah. God, the faithful, God, the Joneses, God, whoever stood in need of prayer on today, God. Even the ones with the unspoken request, God, on today. God, we ask you right now in the name of Jesus, God, to continue to watch my sister, God, in the name of Jesus. My brother, God, in the name of Jesus, God. Continue to bless Sparky, God. And in the need of God, we thank you, God. Thank you, Hallelujah. All that you have done, God, in our lives, God. And all that you're going to do, God, in our lives, God. We're thanking you right now, God, for your presence, God. Even when we don't even know what's going on, God, you block us and you shield us, God. And God, we're thanking you right now in the name of Jesus for the love that we have for one of you, God. We're thanking you for our children, God. Our yes, needs, our all of our children, God. Jesus. We're asking you right now, God, in the name of Jesus, God. We're Thank asking you. you, God, to watch over our children, God. Yes. Lord. There's been several occasions, God, on this last week, God, that yeah, three people have told me about suicidal thoughts, God. And yeah. right now, God, I ask you right now, God, in the name of Jesus, send yeah. that yeah. devil back to the pits of hell, God. Yeah. 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 God. We're thanking you, God, for yeah. life, yeah. God. Touch these young people, my God. It's not only the young people, my but the old people, my God. God. That we can serve you no matter what time of day, God. We can call on you, God, and you can answer prayer, God. Yes, God. Thanking you right now, God, in the name.
bless them, God. Go into their homes, God, and work things out, God. Save somebody on tonight, God. We thank you, God. We thank you. We thank you, thank you Lord. And we pray. Amen. 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 Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you. God bless you. Amen. Bless you, Sandra Carwell. I tell you, my God, well done. Amen. Amen. A prayer to the Lord. Amen. We give God praise. Amen. 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 Now we're going to get into our Bible study on tonight. Amen. Feel free. Uh, amen. Get your, your pens, your papers, amen, your Bibles, and let's let's get into the Word of God. Amen. Yeah. Here we go. Amen. I'm going to do a screen share. And we're going to be dealing with, actually, on tonight, we're going to be dealing with Ephesians chapter, uh, Ephesians chapter uh, 4. Verses 1 through 3, and then I have other selected scriptures that we're going to uh, talking and discussing on on tonight, Amen. Ephesians chapter four, verses one through three, and then we, like I said, we're going to be doing with some other scriptures as well on tonight. And this is a and our our, our uh, subject matter on tonight is going to be uh, the walk of unity. The walk of unity. Amen. We're going to be dealing with that subject matter on tonight in our Bible study. Amen. All right. Uh, we'd like to start off by sharing with you uh, and saying uh, unity has been uh, sadly, unfortunately, especially in these particular day and time, it's been elusive in the body of Christ and among those who, in fact, profess faith in Christ Jesus. Uh, never has have those who have acknowledged faith in Christ have been so divided, unfortunately, as today. Amen. But and many have gone to even wild extremes concerning the quest even too for unity. Some will simply declare that what we believe don't even matter and simply throw a lasso around everybody who profess to believe in Christ. Amen. You, you, you know what you've seen. Amen. People believe in right is wrong and wrong is right. And unfortunately, these days and times, this, in fact, ignores the fact that the New Testament demands doctrinal purity. The New Testament the scriptures demand in and of themselves, they demand doctrinal purity. We like to also say too, also to, on the other hand, many will demand that we uh, toe the line on every matter of opinion. Thus, it makes it impossible for two individuals to agree, much less all who seek to follow Jesus. Now, Paul, in fact, he gives us a formula in Ephesians chapter four. He gives us a formula. Uh, the, the seven ones of this chapter, all right, uh, when correctly understood, it'll allow us, in fact, to unite in Christ. All right. Now, Paul begins the great chapter uh, with three verses that describes his desire that they maintain unity in the body. And when Paul actually wrote to the Ephesian church, he, if you, uh, in a historical context setting, Paul was actually in prison when he was doing this writing here in Rome, in this writing of scripture, all right? But he was encouraging the Ephesians, amen, that they uh, maintain unity, in fact, in the body, all right? And this first portion of the scripture deals with uh, the walk, all right? The walk, a worthy uh, walk, a worthy walk, um, uh, uh, a need. And what is that? And in essence, uh, there's a need for us to maintain personal purity, all right? Verse number one says, what? I therefore, the prisoner of the Lord, all right, beseech you that you walk worthy of the calling in which you were called, all right? That's what he says in the first part. And what is that letting us know? That's letting us know that this walk is, in fact, it's a continual, regular effort. It's something of the, which that we should be doing on an ongoing basis, all right? First John chapter uh, one and verse number seven, to, and I love that scripture too. Uh, I love all of God's word. Amen. But also to that scripture, First John chapter one, and verse seven, it says, "If we walk in the light." But I want to give you the whole scripture. We're going to actually just go there and just share. Amen. It says, "What?" But if we walk in the light, and the scripture goes on to say, "What?" As He is in the light, we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of Jesus Christ, His Son, in fact, cleanses us of all sin all sin all right now from the greek tense 
it, that particular portion of scripture says if we walk in the light from the Greek tense, which, it, which means continual action in the present tense. And it would literally mean if we continually walk in the light. That's what God wants us to do. All right. Listen, 1 Corinthians chapter 5, uh, 15, rather, in verse 31 says, I protest. And when you use the word protest, uh, that is actually uh, uh, translated as a de declaration or affirmation. When you use the word protest here, he says, I protest, and that's a declaration, by your rejoicing, which I have in Christ Jesus, our Lord, I die daily. All right, this was Paul was sharing to the Corinthians. Church. What is the calling that we're called to walk in? What is the calling that we're called to walk in? It is, in fact, the calling of the gospel that each Christian has, ye has yielded to, to becoming, in fact, Christians. All right, Christ-like. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verses 13 and 14 tells us what? But we are bound to give thanks to God always for you, brethren beloved of the Lord, by the Lord. Because what? Because God, from the beginning, chose you for salvation through sanctification by the spirit and belief in the truth to which he has called you by our gospel for the obtaining of the glory of our Lord Jesus. Amen. Hey, listen, and in, and in chapter one of 1 Corinthians, uh, verse number nine, it says, God is faithful by whom you were called into the fellowship of son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. How do we walk worthy of our Christian calling? How do we walk worthy? Paul is not, listen, Paul is not saying that we can somehow walk so as to deserve the blessings of, that God has given us in Christ. But the Bible clearly states that we are saved by grace of God. And it's not due, in fact, to our, our righteousness. All right, clarifications is in Ephesians chapter uh, 2, verses 7 through 9. Ephesians chapter 2 and verses 7 through 9 is clear on this. Listen to what the scripture tells us. That in the ages to come, that he might what? He may show the exceeding riches of his grace and his kindness towards, towards who? Towards us through Christ Jesus. Verse number 8 says what? For by grace you are saved through faith. And it is not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works lest many man should boast. It's not, not uh, based upon what we've done or what we've accomplished, but it's by his grace in and of itself that we're in fact are saved. We're in fact to live in such a way as to have our lives consistent with what? With the teachings of the gospel as many, much as humanly possible. All right? Listen, Philippians chapter one, Verse 27, it tells us what? Only let your conversation be at its becoming of the gospel of Christ. When we're talking, all right? That when I, whether I come or, or and to see you or if I'm absent, I may hear of your fears that you do what? That you stand fast in one spirit with one mind, striving together for the faith of the gospel. See, there must be, hear this on tonight. There must be a difference in conduct between our previous life and our life in Christ. Amen? There's got to be a difference, all right? Ephesians chapter 2, and if you go back up in that same uh, book of Ephesians chapter 2, verses uh, 1 through 3, it talks about it. It says what? It says what? And you have, and you have he quickened, who are dead in your trespasses and sins, mm -hmm. wherein in times past, Ye walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of, mm -hmm. of the powers of the air, the spirit in, that now worketh in the children of the disobedience, all right? Among whom also we have had our conversation in times past in the lust of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and were by nature the children of wrath, even as others, all right? See that? See that? That, that was your previous life. Amen. Amen. But now it has it, now that we're walking in a newness of life in the, through the spirit of God, there's got to be a difference. And we also, too, have to have, aside from having a worthy walk, we got to have a humble walk. All right. And this is a required attitude in order for us to maintain unity. He talks about in verse number two, what he say in Ephesians, with all lowliness and gentleness, with long suffering, 
bearing with one another in what? Love. In love. Verse 2. Now, notice the three characteristics, in fact, used by Paul. He talked about lowliness. Literally, that, what does that mean? That humility of mind, such as modesty, humbleness of mind, humility of our mind. All right? Listen, uh, this also, too, seems to denote our attitudes also, too, towards ourselves in relation to God. Glory to God. Amen? Gentleness. That is synonymous with meekness, all right? And when you have gentleness, you're demonstrating the fact that you got you have strength actually under control. And this is the attitude uh, we have towards God. What do we do? We as saints of God, amen, believer, and believers, we submit our lives in obedience to the precepts of God, even though we might desire to elevate yourself, amen? Long-suffering, long-suffering. This actually carries with it the ideal of patience and tolerance and forgiveness. Patience, tolerance, and forgiveness. All right, a humble walk. These are three divine characteristics. Matthew chapter 11, verse 28 says, What come to me, all you are labor and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. 29th verse, take my yoke upon me, you, you and learn of me. Amen. Jesus is talking to us. For I am gentle and lowly in heart, he says, and you'll find rest for your soul. Second Peter chapter three, verse number nine. He says, what? The Lord is not slack concerning his promise as some count slackness. Amen. Amen. But, but, uh, but is long suffering toward us, not willing that any should perish. He does not desire that any should perish but all should come into repentance. Glory to God. Amen. A humble walk. We're to do what? We're to bear one another in love. Bear one another in love. And that carries with it the ideal of patience with each other's frailties and faults. Amen. Amen. As we walk this faith of, uh, uh, walk this walk of uh, uh, faith and, uh, uh, and the Lord, and, and Lord, and the Lord and on this earth, Amen. We, ain't, we, you know, we're not perfect, but we're striving. We're striving to reach perfection. Glory to God, Amen. But listen, we're not wink, winking at sin, but it also uh, not apply a haughty and vindictive attitude towards. <laughs> All right. Uh, one moment. All right, there we go. First Peter chapter four, verse number eight tells us what also too. And above all things, we got to have fervent love towards one another. Lo fervent love towards one another. For love will cover a multitude of sins. Glory to God. Amen. Listen, a humble walk. This is a kind of attitude of long suffering is behind mm -hmm. what our Lord had to say concerning even judging too. While he did not condemn Judging by the standards of God's word, that's clarified in John chapter 7, verse 24. He did, in fact, warn against judging by our own standards, just the opposite of long suffering. All right, Matthew chapter 7, verses 1 through 5. All right, Colossians chapter 3, verses uh, the verse 13 tells us what? Bearing one another uh, but another, forgiving one another. And if anyone has a complaint against another, even as Christ forgave you, so you must also do. We got to do what the word of God says. It doesn't matter how we feel. Amen. Mm -hmm. God, God's word is the final say so. Glory mm -hmm. to God. And we got also to have a diligent walk, a diligent walk. All right. This is a, a need, in fact, for to work and maintain in unity. All right. Diligent walk. Verse number three talks about it in Ephesians chapter four, endeavoring to what? To keep the unity of the spirit and the bond of peace. Amen. 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 I'm a, I, I submit unto you even on tonight, you know, if, if, if we cannot get along with mm -hmm. each other down here and we say we have uh, the spirit of the Lord in us, we, you, you, you're not going nowhere. You're mm -hmm. not going to make it in. You got, we got to love everybody. Amen. And if we, and even if we have an art or disagreement, we got to sit down and reason together. Amen. Amen. Endeavoring mm -hmm. to do what? We're doing as the word of God tells us to keep the unity of the spirit and the bond of peace. Amen. 
And unity is something that we must work at. Amen. And it doesn't come about by accident. All right. A diligent walk. Endeavoring, what does that mean? It means to use speed, such as to make an effort, to prompt or earnest, to do or give diligence, to be diligent, going moving forward, endeavoring, mm -hmm. labor, to study. Glory to God. Romans chapter 14, verse 19 says what? Therefore, let us do what? Let us pursue the things which make for peace and the things by which one may edify another. Amen. Amen. If we're going to, we got, yeah. this is what we got to do. Amen. How do we keep the unity of the spirit? How do we do this? It's not by being in lockstep with every opinion. Glory to God. You know, you know what? Everybody, uh, you know what? An opinion is just like an armpit. Everybody got one. And sometimes they stink. <laughs> you, uh, you know, your, listen, when it comes to the word of God, our opinion doesn't matter. Amen. We're walking according to God's word. Listen, we're not mindless zombies. Hear this on tonight. Whose mm -hmm. every action is controlled down to the tiniest detail. But, but the New Testament does what? It recognizes that a group of personal beliefs that are to be held personally. That's what the New Testament recognizes. Romans chapter 14 talks about this. And the fact that it is that God has already given us the means of unity. He's given us the specifics in regards to unity. A diligent walk. That is exactly, uh, family and friends, that is the force behind keeping the unity of the spirit. What is, this, what is that basis? John 17 and verse 17 says what? We got to sanctify. Sanctify means set apart them by your truth because your word, God's word, it is truth. Amen. John chapter 12, verse 48 says, he who rejects me and does not receive my word has that which judges him. And the word that I have spoken will judge him in the last day. Glory to God. Amen. So if we're not doing what God has instructed us and told us to do according to his word, we've rejected him. Amen. And God's going to deal with us in the last day. First Corinthians chapter one, verse 10, it says, now I plead with you, brethren, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that you do what? That you all speak the same thing. Hear this on tonight. And that there be no divisions among you, but you be perfectly joined together in the same mind and in the same judgment. Amen. Glory to God. God has given us, hear this on tonight. God has given us a means of unity. And that's his inspired word. Amen. First Peter, amen. Chapter, uh, first Peter chapter uh, four, verse 11. If anyone speaks, listen to this, let him speak as the oracles of God. If anyone ministers, let him do it with the ability which God supplies. That what? That in all things, hear this on tonight. This is God. Speak to us, Lord, through your word. That God may be glorified through Jesus Christ, to whom belong the glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. Glory to God from Zion. Paul, listen, Paul will proceed uh, to give the great seven ones of unity uh, in verse, uh, verse four. He goes on to talk about that in the same chapter in the book of Ephesians chapter four. But as with every great building, he began with a foundation. And verses one through three are the foundation of, a, of, of walking in, uh, together in unity. Now, let us all maintain a worthy personal life, conducting ourselves humbly before God and our brethren. And let us seek to work at maintaining the unity that the Holy Spirit has given to the people of God through the inspired word of God. Amen. And let us do this together. All right. So I want to talk and discuss. We're going to stop right there. Stop screen share right there. And we want to talk further and discuss on this subject matter on tonight. Amen. One moment. Mm -hmm. That's my uh, screen here. Amen. To walk the walk of unity. We got to yep. have the walk of unity. Amen. Amen. Uh, 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 and I've all, I've always said this. There's, there's only, there's only one Holy Spirit. I mean, it amazes me that some people um uh think they're the only ones you know um i even heard you know i was talking with somebody even earlier today recently about you know some 
uh, body making a decision, you know, decision or whatever to go to uh, uh, another church or whatever. Have, that's fine. But for that church to, to 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 put on you and tell you, oh, just because you did this here, you can't go nowhere else. You got to go just here. You got to, you know, you know, uh, this is the only place where it's happening at. There's there's one. There's a popular guy on the internet, right? A preacher on the internet right now. Uh, he's the only one that's got the truth. Everybody else is going to hell. If you believe what he's saying, you know, uh, the devil is a liar. Mm -hmm. Amen. If I'm living in, 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 according to the word of God and I'm, I'm walking in the Holy Spirit, there's only one Holy Spirit. Now, there's a lot of spirits out here. And that's the problem. That's why that's why there's a lot of disunity, because people ain't walking in the spirit of God. Mm -hmm. Amen. They're walking in the mm -hmm. spirit of man. Amen. Mm -hmm. the spirit of devils. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And that's why people are falling astray. That's why you have dissension. That's why you have disunity. God ain't in dissension. Mm -hmm. Not in disunity. Hear this on tonight. Mm -hmm. God is not the author of confusion. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. But we as saints of God, we are to walk in the unity of him. Glory mm -hmm. to God. And that's what he wants us to do. Amen. Amen. And it's got it's by it's, it's, it's all Bible. I don't care what anybody say. It's the word of God. Amen. Yeah. Amen. The word of God is going, it's going to stand forever. This is our foundation. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Not only does, it isn't in the beautiful, not only did the spirit of God, God has blessed us in such a way that we as the saints of God, amen, of now, amen, he's allowed the spirit of, the, the spirit of God to dwell in the inside of us. Amen. And if we and if we let the spirit lead us and guide us, amen, mm -hmm. it'll teach you how to talk, teach you how to talk to people, teach you how to talk to each other, teach us how to love one another. Amen. Amen. We ain't trying to hurt nobody. We ain't trying. Listen, listen. Amen. He, Jesus said, with love and kindness, we'll draw. Amen. And that's our endeavor. Amen. We ain't trying mm -hmm. to turn nobody away, turn nobody off. But listen, we're going to give them the truth, though. In the word, yes. in love, Amen. Somebody, Amen. 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 So I want to, I want to continue this talk on tonight about the walk of unity, Amen, Amen, Amen. And I want to, I, uh, I want uh, anybody have any questions in regards to what we share, Amen. Come on and, and do that. But I want us to, uh, you know, stay on topic, and let's talk about this walk of unity on tonight. Amen. Any questions or concerns, amen, uh, uh, comments or whatever have you, amen? Amen. God bless you, amen. Come on. Hi, this is Mavis Latham. And my, and my thoughts are, you know you got a good church and you doing something right when Satan come and try to uh, divide you. Like you say, it's different ways of approaching the person and you got to be mindful like if i said to you pastor you know god is full of love and god want to love you and show you the way that's one thing but if i say pastor you know god love you give your life to god now basically i said the same thing but i said it first with loving and kindness don't beat my head in because that'd be too much for me. But mm -hmm. if you show me loving and kind, kindness, then I'll be able to receive it. Also, Jesus Christ himself, he didn't think he was higher or better than anybody because he talked it to prostitutes. The lady, you know, all know my Bible that good. She she was adulterous to a king and she was in the courtyard. He blessed her to become queen. So God is a loving, kind, meek, humble God. And if we want, I mean, Christ, and if we want to be Christ-like, we have to show the same uh, traits because, of course, you everybody got feelings. Everybody has a past. So come with a person from a loving, kind place. I'm able to receive your message tonight because you come, you're telling the truth for one thing, 
and you're not yelling and screaming at it in my brain. You speak in meek and humble, the same as if we was on equal yoke. Now, I know we're not really on equal yoke, but it's like you are personable, you are approachable. Some people make themselves so godly that they seem unapproachable. And that turns a lot of people off. So God bless y'all to keep in mind and keep me in prayer. All right. God bless you, Mavis. Wow. Okay. All right. She actually referenced a couple of scriptures. Uh, one scripture she referenced and she mentioned it, uh, but it was actually Paul had talked about it in Romans chapter 12, verse number three. All right. Uh, where he said, and uh, he said in Romans chapter 12 and verse number three, he said, for I say through the grace uh, given unto me and to even to every man that is among you, not to think highly more of himself than he ought to think, but he wants us to think soberly according to as God has done what he's dealt to every man, the measure of faith. I know a lot of times, um, you know, some saints, uh, it's the truth. Uh, some can be impatient with folks, you know, and I know some people, I know sometimes some people, you know, may, you know, push your buttons or whatever, but God wants us, listen, he wants us, I'm telling you, it's going to, it may take some people longer than others, amen, to come around like you would desire them to come around, but he wants us to, he, but he says, think soberly according to as what, as God has dealt every man the measure of faith, all right? All right, we all have a measure, amen, amen. And some's going, and I know some going. It's just like a race. Everybody that participated in the race ain't gonna come across the finish line at the same time. You're gonna have a winner. You're gonna have a first, a second, a third, fourth, fifth, fifth, sixth, so on, place, right? Mm -hmm. But the key is that we finish the race, and that we run the race. Glory to God, even with patience, mm -hmm. amen. Amen. They say, give it to the swift or the swamp, strong, but the hem that the dirt to the end, the same shall be saved. Amen. Amen. And I thank God for you, Mavis. Amen. I thank God. Amen. I want you Amen. to just keep, continue to just continue to uh, just, just continue to just learn more of the Lord. Amen. And commit your way unto him. Amen. Amen. And God's going to increase your faith. Amen. Increase your knowledge and understanding the more of him. Amen. 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 We, love, we love you. Amen. We love you. Amen. And we thank God for you. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Anybody else have a question or a comment? Come on and share. Um, I found a scripture about that where you was talking about. It says Ephesians, um, um, be kind one to another. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I, I forgot what that scripture it was talking about. Okay, okay. I can't can't figure it out where, where uh, exactly. you you're yeah. talking about in the same chapter. He's yeah. talking about Ephesians chapter four, and I believe that's around verse number. <laughs> hold on, thirty. Let's see, Ephesians chapter four, verse number thirty-two. Okay, where are we? Mm-hmm. Matter of fact, matter of fact, matter of fact, let's just go up to the go up to the 31st verse. <laughs> In the same chapter, uh, Brother Lester, it says all bitterness, wrath, and anger, and clamor and evil speaking be put away from you with all. Malice, glory to God. Amen. My, my, my. Look at that. He want, what is he telling? We, he wants us to put all that type of uh, talking and feeling that, yeah. that like that we have that, that may try to uh, come upon. Put that away, out of our yeah. lives. Glory to God. Mm -hmm. Then he goes on to tells us in verse thirty-two, and this is what you were talking about. And mm -hmm. be you kind to one another. Yes, indeed. Tender-hearted, forgiving one another. Yes, glory Lord. to God. Mm -hmm. We gotta be, Ooh. we gotta be quick to forgive, y'all. And he goes on to say, even as God, for Christ's sake, has given you glory to God. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Christ's forgiveness uh, of us yeah. is to always be based upon our forgiveness for others. Mm -hmm. That should always be the basis of our forgiveness for others, because of yeah. the fact that Christ forgave me. Yes, I have to forgive others. 
Mm-hmm. When, did Jesus mm-hmm. talk to, when did Jesus talk? And we've talked about this in previous Bible study. And yeah. that, when he talked about the Beatitudes, mm-hmm. amen. Those that mistreat you, those that spitefully use you, even, you mm-hmm. know, mm-hmm. amen. Mm-hmm. He wants us to forgive, amen, others, even as Christ has forgiven us. Glory to God, amen. Mm-hmm. Amen. That's it. That's it, brother Lester. Thank you so much. Amen. Praise God. You're for that. Man, praise and God. sometimes, you know, you get people that think they had the Holy Ghost, like I said before, <laughs> and I'm standing there and listening to that person, and you, and you, um, you know, and sometimes you get people uh, not trying to be real nice to you in in a Christian way, and I'm being nice to that to that person in the house of the Lord. So you know, it's different from what I been feeling. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. That's yeah. why Bob said you got to be careful what you hear. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 And, and, make, it goes. and, make, and make sure we don't uh, in no way, shape, or form of fashion though, that we conduct yeah. ourselves in such a way like that, you know, you uh, to, <laughs> to discourage somebody, you know? Mm-hmm. Exactly. Uh, that's why we get we have to be so careful to guard our mm-hmm. lips. Guard our lips. Amen. Amen. And ask the Lord daily to just order our steps. Amen. Yeah. Amen. That we could that when we ministered and we witnessed to somebody, even though with our family members. Mm. I mean, you know how you know how it is. You, you know, even with your family. Because mm. of the fact that they're fam- familiar with you. Amen. They only respect you uh to a very small point. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Exactly. And, and, even, and even though you may have, and even though they haven't come to the knowledge, they may have not come even right now to the knowledge of the truth, but God has blessed you and, and anointed you and equipped you to, to come to the true knowledge, amen, of, of, of amen. and living in him, amen, amen. amen. Oftentimes they'll look at you, amen, and they're like, you know, they look at you from way back when, what in the world are you talking about? Mm, mm, mm. We were smoking a blunt together, you know, stuff like that. But but when you're changed, you're changing, and and and, and of course you know that you're changed, amen. Yeah. You want to, right. you got to still, you still got to still talk to them, minister to them, witness to them in love. Don't get offended yeah. because they don't understand. Hear this on tonight. Are y'all listening? Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Don't get don't get offended. And that's the problem with us. A lot of folks, I won't, let me not say us, but that's a problem with a lot of people. A lot of people will wear their feelings on their sleeve. Oh, please, come on now. And, and, it's, not, <laughs> and it's, not, it's not about, but you got to remember, it's not about you. It's all, it's about Jesus. Mm-hmm. Amen. Mm-hmm. It's all Amen. about Jesus right here. Amen. 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 Even when we deal with each other as a saints of God, and that's why we're talking about this unity even on tonight. So this it's my endeavor. Amen. 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 I'm gonna keep the saints of God together. Oh, Lord. Amen. 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 And it's gonna be founded and based upon the word of God. There yep. may be some disagreements. We may not, you know, there may be some, you know, there's sometimes we may not like what I'm this one did or this one said or whatever. Amen. But the word of God tells us, come, let us reason together. Mm-hmm. And we got to come, to, we have to have a coming together. Amen. Why? Because we are, we are one in the body of Christ. Somebody's got some okay. background noise. Please mute that out. Amen. 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 We're one in the body of Christ. Amen. And we're walking Amen. together. There's one bit spirit. Amen. One Holy Spirit. Amen. So one Lord, one faith, one baptism. Amen. 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 Ain't no bunch. Amen. Amen. Yes. And, you can, and we cannot have this self-righteousness. Mm-hmm. Amen. Where we think it's all about us. Well, because I feel a certain way, it's the right way. No, it's not necessarily the, uh, the right way. And sometimes you just got to just, t- I, I, I dare you, some folks to just really just, you know, especially when you get caught up in your emotions, mm-hmm. take a breath for a moment and just step That's back. True. Lord, yeah. Lord, just help, just direct me. Guide me, Lord. You know, mm-hmm. with love and kindness, not only will we draw the unbeliever, but with love and kindness, we can draw the believers. Mm-hmm. Each other, that's right. Each other, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Amen. Each other, that's right. This is walking in unity. Mm-hmm. Amen. Mm-hmm. And I declare by God, amen, I'm not going to let no devil, amen, 
coming to try to cause no confusion or dissension with my right. friends and your friends. Amen? The devil is alive. Amen? Amen. 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 That's, uh, Bishop, uh, Pastor, I have Ephesians 6 and, and, and 11. You better come says, on. put on the whole armor of God the that you be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. That you'll be Amen. able to stand. Glory to God. Amen. That's right. We got to put on the whole armor of God. Yeah. Not just but, some of it. Not just, and see, yeah. that's what some folks do. They put on a little bit. Amen. But you're not really putting on the whole arm of God. Amen. That's right. You got to put on a, the entire, in its entirety. That you may do what? Be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Amen. Amen. And, that's re and, that's re and that's referring to the strategies of Satan. Because guess what? Satan's got strategies. Oh, he, amen. Wants, he wants to fool the very elect. He wants to cause dissension in the body. He wants to cause, you know, he wants to cause disorder. You know how, listen, it's just, you know what? The body of Christ is just like your own body. You know what? When your, like Sister Ava talked about tonight, her head was aching. You know, I was having, and I thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Thank you for healing. For the longest time, it looked like I was having even a little issue with my, my shoulder. And I haven't felt that in a minute. But I just kept praying and kept believing God. But I'm telling you, when what part of your body's hurting, it 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 affects your whole being almost sometimes. Lord, yeah. Amen. And that's the same way with the body of Christ. Amen. And that's why we got to be we got to be uh, just like that bomb to each other. Amen. 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 Let's, let's heal each other. Amen. Amen. We loving we loving on each other. We ain't got time for you know uh, no pity patting and spitty spatting. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Come on. Amen. We Amen. got Amen. Listen, Amen. Listen. We got so much work to do. They really Man, do. And I think somebody's even going to be watching this uh, 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 Bible study and teaching even on tonight. So much work for you to do. Amen. Amen. You, ain't got, you ain't got time. You know, it's too much uh, 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 confusion and dissension going on in the world today. <sighs> The last place that we need it is in is in the is in the body of Christ. Amen. Mm -hmm. I'm not standing for it. Is anybody with me on tonight? Amen. Is anybody with me on tonight? Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Standing up for the word of God and the Amen. truth of God. Amen. 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 God. Amen. Praise God. God Amen. bless you. Amen. Hold on, hold on. We got a bunch of people. I know y'all excited. One at a time. Come on. Amen. Come on. <laughs> God bless you, Pastor. That is a good uh, subject matter for tonight. God continue blessing our bishop because I know he's listening in as well. And God continue blessing my, my mentor, who is, who is Deacon Ray. The whole case scenario, I love the topic for tonight, which is the walk of unity. Yes. Yeah. yes. Unity when you said unity, unity means togetherness. How can one walk together exactly. all, agree. if you don't agree? Mm. Now, mm. In, order, in order to agree, okay, in, or, in order to agree, we must have the same agenda and the same focus. We, we have to the, 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 we have, have, have the like objective, right? Mm -hmm. Now, as, as, as Christians, one must be saved, sanctified and filled with the Holy Spirit. Yes. Now, the Holy Spirit is very, very crucial when it comes down to our church and our church yes. activities. You know why? Because a lot of confusion, a lot of confusions are in the church because most people, like the bishop said, they have accepted Christ as Savior, but they haven't accepted him as Lord. Why? Because they have not been baptized by fire and filled mm. with the Holy Ghost. Oh, now, if right. they were filled with the Holy Ghost, it wouldn't be no ism, schism in the church. Why? Yeah. Because the Holy Spirit is the spirit of truth, the spirit yeah. of love, the spirit of, uh, of humbleness. Mm -hmm. And a lot, of, a, a lot of people proclaim themselves, they proclaim themselves as Christians, but they have mm. not been baptized by fire. Mm. They have not been baptized and receive the Holy Spirit. Amen. You understand? Because once you are filled with, with the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit is going to give you the, those fruits. Love, 
gentleness, humbleness, okay? Which is very crucial when you're dealing, when you proclaim yourself to be a Christian, an ambassador of Christ, mm-hmm. you, your, your walk, your walk is going to represent Amen. who you are. Glory and most, God. most of the confusion, it starts when we are not equally yoked, mm-hmm. all right? Yeah. When people are not equally yeah. yoked, they don't agree. Amen. They don't agree. So you got a, a Christian here that proclaimed themselves to be a Christian, all right? But they they have not been saved because once you are once you accept Jesus Christ as Lord, there are other stages. There are other stages too, really, becoming a saint. When you say you are a saint of God, you've been baptized. You have really been baptized by water, and you've been baptized by fire. Jesus Christ said, who is my brother? Who is my sister? Except those that do the will of my father. Amen. Okay? There's a lot of people out there that's trying to do well, trying to do the will of God, but Jesus Christ is going to say, I did not know you. Why? Mm-hmm. Because they are not Holy Ghost-filled people. They are there for their own selfish agenda. Amen. The, the Holy Spirit will bring correction to you, the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Holy Spirit will let you know. He let you know when you're out of order. I don't have to, uh, let's say, iron sharpens iron. Yes, if you got the Spirit of God, that which is the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Truth within you, man, you gonna automatically agree. We gonna go. We have the same agenda in mind. Amen. Okay. So once again, those that proclaim the the the, the walk of unity, which is our topic, is tonight. Yes. We can't walk in unity Amen. if we if we are not of the same spirit. Hallelujah. How can, we be, how can we say that we are together if we don't agree? But Amen. if we walk our Holy Ghost still, we, we can't do nothing but agree. Amen. 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 Everybody proclaims themselves a Christian is not a Christian. Amen. Amen. Everybody that say I go to church is not a saint of God. Yeah. Only if the Holy Ghost filled and been baptized by fire. Mm-hmm. All right, brother. Amen. God from Zion. Amen. Uh, I have a, I have a comment. Hold on, hold on, baby. He, 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 I got mm-hmm. pleasure. I just, want, I, just, I just want to give scripture to what uh, Deacon Lacey was talking about. He referenced right. a couple of uh, scriptures. He referenced Matthew chapter 12. Uh, no, Matthew, yeah, Matthew chapter 12 and verse number 50. Amen. I was looking at it right here. He said, For whosoever is the will of my father, which is in heaven, the same as my brother and my sister and my mother. My See, there? See, in other Amen. words, also, too, there is a, you know, if we're saying we're doing the will of the father, there is a distinction. All right. There's a distinct, and just like he said, and, and it goes back to there's only one Holy Spirit. And if we're walking in the same spirit, uh, we're going to be in agreement. Amen. 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 We're going to be in the order of God. God ain't in disorder. Mm. Amen. Not in confusion. Amen. 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 And then he also, and then Deke also referenced another scripture, Amos chapter three, verse number three. Can two walk together except they be agreed? Glory to God. Amen. That was another scripture that he did he did he did he did he reference also too. Amen. And amen. that, one, that uh, glory to God. Amen. And, and so we amen. got amen. We so we have to be uh uh now in the natural, yeah, we're gonna definitely have, you know, there's gonna be some agreements because that's the, the nature, I, I mean disagreement, excuse me. Because that's, 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 that's the nature of man. You know, right. that's the, see, <clears throat> man has his own ego. Man has the, the man has their own, you know, way of thinking and doing and and whatnot. But that's why it's so important for us to. That's why we got to remember. We got to check. You know what? Nobody, when it comes to checking yourself, you got to check you. Mm-hmm. Amen. To check you. Check you. Know? you. And, and, and 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 a lot of times when we think we're right. The truth be told, you, you some a lot of times you wrong, you dead wrong. Yes, yes. Check yourself. That's why you got to make sure that we do it. And I shared um, uh, multiple scriptures with you even on tonight in regards to our Bible study on tonight. Amen. Make sure that you're walking in multiple. Uh, hold on a second. We're getting a lot of talking here. One moment. 
All right. But make sure that we're, 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 we're walking according to the word of God. Amen. That's the key, everyone. That's the key. The word of God. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but the word of God will stand forever. Glory to mm -hmm. God. And I'm excited about it. I'm excited about it. Amen. And that's what, that's, what, that's what I endeavor to do. And I'm encouraging everybody, those of you that are listening to us, amen, walk according to God's word. Amen. amen. And if you're doing what God says in his word and walking according to, to the word of God and walking by the spirit of the Lord, amen, amen, you can't be wrong. You no. can't be wrong. Amen. No. Amen. 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 Glory to God. God's word is, they, they, the old folks used to sing a song, God's word is right and somebody's wrong. That's the truth. Amen. <laughs> amen. God's amen. word is right. Amen. amen. Glory amen. to God. God bless you, Deke. Amen. Come on, uh, Minister uh, Connie. Go ahead. Amen. God bless you. Um, well, I have a comment about the Holy Spirit. Because amen. Because when, you, when you're dealing with people that are supposed to be close to you, and if those people are not who they say they are, and the Spirit of God shows you and you speak on it, then all of a sudden you may not be on the same level with that person because they're not walking with you as a child of God in the Holy Spirit. Some of us, we may be reading the word, but are we living the word? Are you walking the word? That's when you start having problems when people are not on the same, on one accord with you as far as the Holy Spirit is concerned. Because when things are not on the same level, that's when we have problems. And we're not going to have problems if we, if we love one another as Christ loved the church. But some of us are perpetrating on the church. And that's not correct either. That's all I have to say. Amen. Amen. Okay. Now, now, would you, now wait, uh, when you said, would you, uh, just give me a uh, clarification. You said perpetrating. Would you, would you, uh, that means when you say you no, are, when you good. are, you are walking on the same level as other people in the church as, as sanctified, Holy Ghost, sanctified and separated. You have been burned by fire. You have fire within you. The spirit of God lives within you. The spirit of God is going to lead and guide you. The Holy Ghost is going to lead and guide you to truth. Mm -hmm. And if the, the spirit of God, which is the Holy Ghost, is not living within you, you can't be on one accord because you're going to have a conflict of interest. If your interest is still in the world, One is holy, if you if your if your interest is still in the world, and the other party is already filled with the spirit of God, and the spirit of God is going to lead you down the path of truth, you're going to have problems. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, briefly, I want to I want to make a little comment. Hello. Yeah. Here you go ahead, Mavis. Yeah, we all know the story of Nebuchadnezzar. He was a rich man, a man of status, right? But when he asked the question, how could he reach heaven? It was like kind of funny because it takes a lot. He had to do a lot. Uh, was he willing to give up his status? Was he willing to give up his riches? And it's certain things like uh, my brother Dallas said that you have to do, be baptized and everything like that. And also for my sister-in-law comment that God had patience, I mean, Jesus had patience with Nebuchadnezzar. I think Saul was the tax collector. I might be wrong about his name, but he was a tax collector and he turned his life over to God. Sometimes people have to have patience and they got to have time to get to where you at. So as Christians, we can't be forceful and make them achieve, get to the, their goal quickly. We have to be patient. All right. Uh, let me just let me just. Can I speak? I, I just want to speak to that. Um, what God has endeavored us to do is to plant the seeds. Uh -huh. We sow the seeds, and he and he lets he talks about even his work, and he'll give the increase. Uh -huh. It's not it's not for us. It's not up for us to try to. Um, uh, and as bad as we want to, and, you know, if it was up to me, I saved the whole world. Yeah, <laughs> the whole world ain't gonna be saved. That's just, that's just the truth of the matter. 
Amen. Uh, few are going to scarcely make it in. Yes. But I, but I, you know, I, and and if and if my mother was here, I hear her talking now. She said, you know, I I, I could barely make it in myself. So, <laughs> you know, but uh, we are to sow the seeds, amen. And and and, and it's going to be up to to you. He told us what in His Word. He said, "Whosoever will will come." Yes. Amen. Unto him, and he said, "If you come unto me, he's not going to no wise cast us out." Yeah, man. But you got to make up in your mind. You know, I've been I've been actually sharing with a, an individual too, even recently that you know that's kind of going through some things. Having a he's having a struggle, amen. But at the end of the day, amen. He's got to make up his mind who he's going to serve. Yeah, amen. Man, man yeah. cannot serve two masters. You're going to love one and hate the other, yeah. amen. And you could talk about how much you love one and all you want, but if your mm-hmm. but if your actions are, 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 are contrary to that, Amen, oh. Amen. I'm sorry to say it, you know, in hell you're gonna lift up your eyes, <laughs> Amen. You gotta mm-hmm. make up your mind. It's time out. It's time. And I I I, I think I was saying this uh, on Sunday at the touch. Of, it's time yeah. out for playing games, Amen. The time is over. We see that, and you know what? And and, and we're living in a, a more critical time. And uh, you know, I was about to say how old I am, but I can recall. <laughs> but I can recall, you know, even though the times were bad when I was coming up as a young uh, child and a young man, they are so much worse today, y'all. So Amen. much worse. And I and I know I got a bunch of folks on here that's listening and can attest to this. Amen. We don't have time. We don't have time for this. Amen. Amen. That and that's why. And we share with y'all that even in the Bible study on tonight in our presentation. Amen. Amen. Even when we're witnessing, even when we're ministering and sharing. Amen. We're to do it with love and kindness. We're to do it with meekness. Amen. That's Amen. that's how we're gonna draw. Amen. And what did I say earlier? I mean, I know some people are gonna get on your last nerves. Amen. And some people. Uh, I know they may not be where you think they should be, where they should be. Yes, Amen. yes. But we, 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 you know, but 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 we're gonna pray for them. Amen. Yeah. They come to the knowledge of the truth. Amen. And that they walk in the light. That's Amen. The light. Amen. Amen. And we need to continue to be a light to those folks too. Amen. Listen, I'm gonna tell you. I, I mean, I'm I'm not I'm not trying to beat nobody up, mug nobody. But at the same time, I'm not backing off from the truth. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah, but, amen. We're, but when we're ministering, when we're witnessing the souls out here, amen. And even with our fellow brethren and sisters in the Lord, amen. We do it, we, we got to do it with love, y'all. Amen. And Ooh, according amen. to the scriptures in which we shared with you on tonight, I shared I shared a many of with you. Amen. <laughs> amen. On tonight. Amen. Amen. God. Amen. Amen. Second, Second Thessalonians. Amen. Amen. Listen to this, but and I shared it. I'm going to say it again. Second Thessalonians chapter two, verse thirteen and fourteen. But we are what we are bound to give thanks to God always for you, brethren, beloved by the Lord. Why? Because God from the beginning, what He do? He chose us yes. for salvation through sanctification in the Spirit and believe in the truth, to which He called us by uh, uh, by the gospel. To for the obtaining of the glory of the Lord Jesus Christ. No glory of ourselves. We have no glory of ourselves. Amen. You can't save nobody. That's mm-hmm. right. Can't save ourselves. Amen. And if but for the grace of God, we could be in that, uh, that same state, in that same situation. That's why we don't look down on nobody. Amen. Amen. We need to try to build people up. <clears throat> Amen. And if we see our bro- brother faltering, or if we see our brother or sister not doing right, or whatever have you. Pull them to the side. Amen. Amen. Do it. Do it, do it, do it privately. Don't try to embarrass folks. You hear yes. me? Hear me yes. on tonight. Amen. Yes. Don't, you don't, you know, we ain't making no spectacle. Uh, Amen. And that's what yes. happens. And I know a lot of times, you know, we get frustrated and, and, and we'll we'll just blurt out stuff. Not realizing that you uh, you may offend your sister, offend your brother. Yes. Pull them to the side. And 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 and, 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 and if, if correction is needed, do it in love and in see and in order. Amen. God is a God of order. Amen. 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 
Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. I just, uh, yeah, I want to just comment on that. Now, we had a great service on Sunday, right? Yeah. Yes. And the yes. theme of it was John 3.16, for God so loved the world. Mm -hmm. Not that God so loved Larry. It's, it's not an individual. He said he loved the world. He so loved the world. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He didn't show favoritism. And yeah. then when we went into Corinthians, he said, what? What is love? Love is kind. Love is patient. Love is gentle. Yeah. You know? Love doesn't hold wrong in account. Oh. You, you know, so in that even, you know, we have different levels. I heard somebody say about levels, right? Now, you can't give a baby milk because he'll choke on it. I mean, you can't give a baby meat. You got to give him milk. Otherwise, he'll choke. Mm. So we just got to mm -hmm. continue to be patient. Okay, and I believe somebody was saying about what you say is how you say it, and that falls under the category of being gentle. Yeah. You know, yeah. Jesus didn't go out and convict. He said, I didn't come in to convict the world. Mm -hmm. You know, Tell and he said, he would not sin. To him and be saved. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. And he was, out, he was without sin, cast the first stone. We can't cast stone. You know, mm -hmm. because the mirror, there's, there's a mirror that we have to look into. I tell you quick, I'm not perfect, mm -hmm. but I come to strive with like minded right. people That's it. to reach That's it. a place. Mm -hmm. You know, we got to reach if we're going to travel the journey together, then we got to encourage one another to continue to hold on. That's the encouragement. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's, it. Mm. That, that, that's basically it. I just want to say, like, we just had the service about. But the love service. It was awesome. It was awesome. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, it was. Yeah. yeah, phenomenal service. God bless you, uh, uh, Minister Best. That was good. Um, wait, the scripture that he was referring to, if you're taking notes, write this down. All right. The theme scripture Sunday was John 3.16. But the scripture that Minister Best just referred to was the 17th verse, right after the 16th verse. Yes. Verse 16 said, what? For God so loved the world. All right, not just individual people, certain people, individual people. Uh, he loved the whole world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Then he uh, minister best reference to verse 17. But God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Amen. Amen. And then it goes on to talk. It goes on to talk about in verse eighteen. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believe not is condemned already, because he's not believed in the name of the only begotten Son. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. All right, we get a lot of get a lot of background noise from somebody's line. I don't know who it is. Uh, let's see. It might be a minister. Best. Is that minister? Best? Somebody's lines getting background noise. I don't know what it is. I think I got it. I think I got it. Okay. All right, but thank you. God bless you. God bless you. All right. Anybody else have a question or comment? Please, real quick. I got a comment. I was um thinking about what the first lady you said her name was Miss Melvis. Mavis, a, yes, Sister Mavis. We have to be we have to be careful going out and ministering to people. We have to have the right spirit from the beginning. I'm never getting it. Not only have the right spirit, everybody has the right So a lot of times what we have to do is just live the life. Let people see our let people see the light is in us. Absolutely. And, you know, we just have to because everybody, and like he said, you can't give a baby food, you gotta first give them milk. And a lot of people may want to be saved, but by the time you finish shoving stuff down that throat, mm -hmm. saying, well, it's gonna be hard. It's only hard when you don't want to do right. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we have to be careful when we are ministering to people. Like I said, the right attitude, you just got to know what to see it. And not only what to say, give God, ask God to give you what to say to the sinner man. Because there's a lot of sinners I really do believe wants to be saved. But then after looking at we, the saved people, and how we carry on, not only how we carry on, because I got a lot of family members say, I really personally want them to be saved. And I, I, I love my family. And, you know, you have to walk the walk. You just can't just talk it, but you have to walk it and let them see. You know what? Guess what? I ain't always been where I am today, 
It took time for me to come in and say that I wanted to be saved. There's time when you just got to be able to say, you know what, I'm tired of living like this. I want to give my life to Christ. There's a better way. And so we have to position ourselves in order to even go to anybody else to make them even, or to insist that, hey, look, you need to be saved. We got to know what to say when we approach the people because sometimes we don't get that second chance. That's true. So we have to be right when we go the first time. Mm. Amen. Absolutely. That's very good, uh, Minister Sandra. Amen. God bless you. That's awesome. Yeah, you got to be, you know, right. Amen. <clears throat> Do it in love. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Uh, you know, a lot of times we know the word and we quote scriptures, but we don't live the word. You know what I'm saying? We don't follow the word because how Christ tells you to love your enemy, how can you love your enemy and you can't love a, a saint? Mm. Mm. Amen. Mm. Mm. I mean, something is wrong there to me. Mm. You know, he tells you we got to love our enemy. Amen. How can you not love a, a person, a saint, that's got the spirit that you have? And, you know, we have to put things in concept because the word says live with the spirit and truth. Amen. Christ, God was a spirit. Let's worship him in spirit. He allowed that spirit to dwell in us. You know, and when you let the spirit, you know, like it says, walk in the spirit. You know, it's, it's so much, you know, we have to continue as this word come forth to bring teachings that came to us before because they all come together. Just like the sermon that was preached Sunday. And when she talked about new creature, old things have passed away. That new creature is when the Holy Spirit dwells in you. That's what makes you a new creature. Because if you didn't have the Holy Spirit, you'd be the same. You know, and like I said, we got to, you know, like say, live the word. I'm, one question I want to know, did Jesus consider himself a Christian? Jesus considered him. Well, that goes to the, that goes to the, uh, actually another question. What is the definition of a Christian? The Christian is Christ-like. Christian is Christ-like, but it's that's another. Oh, he is. We use, that's, that's, that's the definition. So, mm -hmm. Christ-like means that we're to be like Christ. Jesus is Christ. Amen. I understand. I understand and, that, but now and like, the Christ. He got the different. Christ, yeah. He got different religions that consider themselves Christians. You said what was that last? I didn't he got different religions that consider them Christians. The Catholic consider themselves Christians. Oh yeah, of course you have. Yeah, you understand yeah, you what have I'm many religions, do, but not they consider themselves Christians. Yes, you yeah. know, and you know, I'm just saying, you know, we use that word Christian time sometimes literally, because everybody, you know, say I believe in Christ. Amen. I don't have to be a Christian because I believe in Christ, because I'm not living Christ's life. Right. You know, and and like when we talk. And we talk about people, you know, talking to people, witnessing to people. Uh -huh. The words that many are called, but few are chosen. Yeah. Everybody that's called is not going out there filled with the Holy Ghost and preaching the word of God. You, you, you understand what I'm saying? You know, you can go to different churches and whatnot, whatnot, and they're taking, coming there and make you an elder or something right away. You, you understand what I'm saying? I mean, we got to be bathed in the Christ. We got to, like Deke says, we got to, we can't just tell people to come in and give them the sinner's prayer and says, go and sin no more without telling them, look here, that's just a step. 
You got to be baptized in the water and the spirit. That's yeah. the only way you're going to become a new creature, and that's the only way you become old. You know, now, like I'm saying, we together and we holy, we should mm -hmm. be able to reason together. Mm -hmm. At the spirit, if we're walking in the spirit, I'm walking in the spirit, and you're walking in the spirit. How can we have disagreement? Ain't but one Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what brings us together as the Holy Spirit. You know, and I'm, I'm just, you know, saying, you know, to me, like, Christ said, how can you love them if you don't love your brother? Regardless of what your brother is doing. You know, love your enemy. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm loving my enemy. How I'm going to get somebody to come to Christ if I don't show them love? Give them the good news. I mean, maybe I'm looking at the, the picture wrong, but like I said before, if two saints are not agreeing or whatever, whatever, we should be sat down and reason with them. I shouldn't go to sleep at night if I got an ill judgment against my, my fellow saint. Mm. Some sister in my spirit. You know, and, and like I said before, you know, uh, uh, it's a song that I like, just like an automobile. And one part of the song says, faith. No, what it says, faith is your driving license. Prayer is your steering wheel. Now think about that. Mm -hmm. Faith and prayer goes together. That's another lesson. God bless you. I don't want to get off the stuff. <laughs> uh, hold on a second. Hold on now. Everybody all right? Oh, I'm hearing like a little background. Uh, all right now. All right, wake up. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Um... God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. I would just like to to say something. Um, just the other day, you know, sometimes we get a little despondent or whatever as people of God. And um, it kind of had something to do with, um, I'm sorry, I have a cold, so I'm, please forgive my voice. Uh -oh. And sometimes, you know, we get a little discouraged or whatever, and we st we pray and, and we, you know, go forth and do whatever God has us to do, but we get despondent. And so I was just in my living room one day and I said, God, I said, I just need you. You know what I did? Uh -huh. He literally took me to YouTube and I started watching the Christ, the, the life of Christ. And when I started looking at that, you know, sometimes we got to, you know, you know, the word, you know what to take out and what to put in, you know, they, you know, animate stuff. And I just began to see how the Gentiles were pushing on Jesus and was, was talking about him just because he was doing right. But, you know, as I looked at that, that really encouraged me. And I say that to say this, sometimes when we are in our own self, we pray and we ask God, say, God, I may not like this person over here because this one did this to me and this one did that, but it will hinder me, Lord, from doing your will. It will hinder me from going to heaven to see you. So sometimes, and I, I hear, you know, you know what's going on at times, and I'm listening to the Bible study, but we as a people of God, we should just pray for one another and just be a light to one another. But sometimes, like I said, when we get discouraged, God, you help me, you lift me up so I can be able to let my light shine. And sometimes it just takes, I'm a visual learner. I'm a visual person. I, I read, but I'm a visual person. So that helped me. So I just said that just maybe that can help somebody, you know, along the way. All right. Okay. Awesome. Yeah, absolutely. God bless you. Thank you so much, uh, Minister Atkinson. Amen. Amen. Awesome. awesome. Absolutely. And that's what we got to do. You know, it, 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 you know, I'm reminded of when we partake of uh, communion, 
you know, and we read the, you know, the scriptures we normally read. Um, uh, First Corinthians 11, Matthew chapter 26, you know. Um, Corinthians tells us what we, we were to examine ourselves. And that's what we got to do. We got to be true to ourselves, examine ourselves, you know. Um, and like I said, a lot of times when um, situations, uh, things come upon us, uh, we might have a, you know, but, you know, even in regards to whether it's a saint or somebody, anybody, when, when there's confrontation, uh, we got to just step back for a moment and really examine ourselves and pray. Ask the Lord, to mm -hmm. you know, we, that's uh, right. And we got to have as well, I share with you on tonight. Amen. We got to have that humbleness within ourselves. We got to have that humbleness in ourselves, in ourselves. And a lot of times, you know, uh, even if, even, and my mother, she, she practiced that too. A lot of times, you know, uh, even, you know, and she shared it with the church. I mean, I shared with you. Even when, it was times when I even saw my, my father wouldn't even treat my mother right. You know, uh, truth be told, my mother, even in the midst of that, you know, way back, you know, she would rear up. <laughs> but she got to the point where she was just humble herself and pray. And don't you know, the, and, 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 and after a while, and and, and a lot of times, too, you know, uh, especially, um, go back upstairs, baby. Go upstairs. Uh, yes, baby. Uh-huh. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Amen. But a lot of times, uh, uh, you know, when 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 he would try to rear his head up or just start, start something, you know, she would just pray. I remember there was one time, you know, I was um, coming up. I shared this with the people, at, you know, the saints at the church at, 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 at Shallow. But I remember one time, I I never forget. Even uh, this was the summertime. I was calling myself trying to work, trying to. Uh, me and my brother, we were trying to uh, do, uh, you know, some, you know, just going out, just hustling. We were little, we were young, we were 10, 10, 11, 12 years old. And I remember this is the middle of summer, I believe it was about August. And I think my mother was down south and Sean and Dee were down south. But me and Robert, we stayed up here in Newark with my father. And we was out doing uh, some work. I think we was doing this work for this lady over in the week wake section. And um, it was getting late. And I remember my father said, I want you in the house more about six o'clock. I don't want to hear that. I want you out. So long story short, I think we got in the house about 6 15, 6 20. My father told me, Boy, I told you be here six o'clock. And I mean it's broad daylight. You know, it wasn't getting dark till nine o'clock at night. It wasn't our intention to get home late. And God knew my heart, but somehow we got home late. I don't remember how he, even I got home. I'm trying to, I don't even remember. I don't know if we caught a bus or what it was, but somehow we walked in about. 15, 17 minutes or so late. And my father said, boy, I'm going to beat your behind. <laughs> and I'm just praying. I said, Lord, I said, Lord, you know, I, I, I said to, you know, I'm praying, you know, within myself. I said, Lord, I didn't have no intentions of, you know, being disobedient to him. You know, this may sound like something small to somebody else, but I'm just sharing this with you. But I, but uh, he went in the room to get the belt. And, and he said, boy, and I said, and I just began, to, and I stood right there, and I just began to pray. <laughs> My father raised up the belt to hit me. He had the belt like this, and he couldn't hit me. My father couldn't hit me. He said, but, he said boy, and he put the belt down like that and walked out of the room, didn't say nothing else. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you. You know, and I just because God, God, what I'm saying is God knew my heart. That's right. I didn't have I didn't have uh, bad intentions. I wasn't trying to stay out late. I wanted to obey him, even though, you know, it was the middle of the summer. It wasn't getting dark to eight, nine o'clock at night. But he just went for that particular that particular day. He just wanted me in at six o'clock. <laughs> and I was trying to my best to get in there at six o'clock, you know. And, and like I said, if you just and I and I, I even told him, you know, you know, I wasn't trying to, you know, stay out late, wasn't trying to disobey you. But at first he wasn't hearing it. And all I could do is just pray. Well, I changed thing. <laughs> <laughs> you got that right. And that particular time, it changed things. Uh -huh. 
I remember, and this is this is a little funny, y'all. I remember maybe a couple of weeks later, something happened with my brother, Robert, and he did something he wasn't supposed to do. And uh, my father said, I'm going to beat you with that belt. And he, my brother tried to call himself doing what I did. I uh, guess what? It didn't work out, y'all. <laughs> my, <father, laughs> my, my father went to town on him. <laughs> but, uh, you know, God's got a way. You know, and that's what and that's what y'all got to remember tonight. I want y'all to remember Ephesians chapter four, verse number two. He said, with all lowliness, with all gentleness, with all long, long suffering, bearing with one another, mm. bearing with one another in love. Mm. You know, you got it. You have to we have to uh, even though we may, you know, not necessarily agree on a certain particular thing. We got to do we got to come together in love with our family, with with people we know. Uh, what not? We do it in love. Amen? Amen? Amen. He didn't say tolerate, but he said bear one another. Amen. Uh, one another in love. Amen? Amen. All right? Uh, he says what? Matthew chapter 11, uh, 28. He said, come unto me, all you who are heavy laden. He said, I'll give you rest. Take my yoke upon me. Learn of me. For why? For I am gentle Amen. and lowly in heart. Hear this on tonight. And you'll find rest for your soul. See? Glory to God. And, and what we got to remember, and maybe it's kind of alluded to this too, 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 9. See, the Lord's not slack concerning his promise, as sound count slackness, but with long suffering toward us. Mm -hmm. He's not willing that any actually should perish, but all should come unto repentance. All right? God doesn't want no one to perish, but he wants them to come unto repentance. And just as God wants us to come up to pits, we do too. Amen. And so guess what? We have to, according to the scripture, we got to be long suffering. We got to be, got to be patient. Somebody was, listen to me, hear this on today. You may not even admit it to yourself. I'm speaking to somebody. You may not even admit it to yourself, but there was a time in your life that somebody had to be patient with you. I'm talking to somebody today. There was a time in your life. Amen that you was just a complete mess, truth be told. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. Somebody That's right. had you on their mind. They yeah. took the time and they prayed for you. That's Somebody right. had to be patient for you. Think about that now. Amen. Glory Amen. to God. So now the table has turned. Yeah. Whether it's somebody even in the church or somebody even outside of the church. Amen. Let's continue, saints, to pray. As Minister Carwell just said a few moments ago, prayer changes things. Mm -hmm. It does. I'm a living witness. I'm a living witness. I could have been dead and gone at 10 years old. Mm -hmm. Doctors told me I'd be crippled for life. Mm -hmm. we, got a, we got a cousin just a few weeks ago. The doctors was writing him off, telling the family to just gather together because it's, 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 it's over. Matter of fact, I heard he actually died. And God brought him back to life. Jesus. Prayer changes things, y'all. Amen. Amen. And Amen. even in regards to our Bible study, even on tonight, us walking into uni in unity. Let us pray for one another. Amen. 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 Pray for one another. And let's continue to walk in that oneness of the spirit. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Amen. 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 We are one, saints. We are one in the spirit. We are one. Glory to God. Amen. Thank God. God bless you. Amen. Anybody else have a comment or a question? Anything real quick. Come on, share. Before we close out tonight, because I know we're pressing a little bit tonight, running over time. Y'all still there? <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Yeah, this is a bishop. Amen. Y'all still there? I didn't hear the bishop tonight. And uh, you know, I always look forward to hearing the bishop. And also, don't forget, Pastor, while I got this minute, I don't want to interrupt you in the end. We got a prayer call tomorrow at 12 o'clock. Yeah, I'm gonna send a I'll send a text out tonight. Amen. We want everybody that can invite your family and friends. Noonday prayer. I know a lot of people be at work. But for those of you that can't, 
Amen. Join for the noonday prayer on tomorrow night, 12, I mean, tomorrow, uh, 12 noon, excuse me, during the day, 12 noon. Amen. Amen. We thank God. Anyone else? I can't hear you. Bishop, you talking? You got to unmute. Unmute. Star, uh, star six. Is that you talking? Okay. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I heard your mouth move. But I wasn't hearing it. <laughs> <laughs> God bless okay. you. I'm sorry. Um, Amen. I, 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 I'm, I'm excited about the lesson tonight because Praise God. Um, this is one of the subjects that actually become the motive and the whole focus of what is ultimately important for the believers to be yes. able to, uh, to put inside of our lives. Mm -hmm. The thing that we've got to make sure that we understand clearly is that the enemy comes to kill, steal, and mm. to destroy. Absolutely. Okay. We, can, we can never lose focus on the motive of the enemy. The motive. And so when he comes with that particular uh, agenda, um, what he's going to do is he's a master uh, and, and he specializes in divisions. Mm -hmm. uh, he understands clearly. Jesus said in Mark, the third chapter, um, if we come in around about the 22nd verse, and that's when he was approached by the scribes and right. they came and um, they called him Beelzebub and the prince of the devils because he was casting out devils. Amen. And he said unto them, even, and even to them, he said, how can Satan cast out Satan? Hmm. And then he went hmm. on to say that if a kingdom be divided against itself, oh, that amen. kingdom cannot stand. Amen. And verse number 25 summed it up and said, if a house be divided against itself, Amen. that house cannot stand. We've got to be on the lookout for the master of division. Yeah. Because he is going to send and he's going to send that weaponry as often as he can do it. He's going to do it. Remember, he's an accuser of the brethren. Yes, he is. And so he is going to sow something into the schedule of the believer so that there can be something that will be ignited to, to divide the house and therefore weaken the house. Mm -hmm. We got to be able to be careful about that. Um, James said in, in James fourth chapter and the first verse, James said, James says there, from whence comes the wars and the fightings from among you? They come not hence even of your lust, but, it, but even the war of your members. If we go to Titus, third chapter and the ninth verse, he says, but avoid foolish controversies, genealogies, arguments, and quarrels, because these things are pointless and worthless. We've got to understand who we fight against. We got to understand that that individual has got to weaken the house. Because when he weakens the house, then he knows that there's going to be a, 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 a problem with our light shining. Mm -hmm. Satan is after your witness. He's after your influence. He's after your reputation. Mm -hmm. He's after anything that would be in a situation that would cause you not to be effective. And so we've got to look out for him because that's exactly what he's going to do. Mm. Jeremiah said in 31 and 3, and I'm done. Jeremiah says that the Lord have appeared unto me of old, saying, Yea, I have loved thee with an everlasting love. Therefore, with loving kindness have I drawn thee. Yes. Got to make sure that that is our motive. Got to make sure that that is the, the consensus. Got to make sure that is the nuclear situation inside of everything we do and then moreover and i'm gonna shut up because i can take this too far i don't know i'm not we already we already late um but but we've got to understand that we've got to invoke wisdom with mm -hmm. everything that we do so because the wisdom is not the particular knowledge of the issue but it is the how to to deliver it how to to get it done. It's where the timing goes. It's if I be quiet or if I shut my mouth. It's if I speak or if I 
just let something go by. We've got to use the wisdom of God mm -hmm. because the wisdom of God will help us to keep and to be the, be the peacemakers that we need to be in yes, order sir. that we can be as solid as God would have us to be. Yes, sir. Thank okay. you so much. Thank you. Oh, so much. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. awesome. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Right now. Notice what oh. Bishop talked about there. He talked about the motive of the enemy. See, the, the, the devil's got a he has a modus motive. It's also noticed too as a modus operandi. He's got a motive. He's got a way that he wants to just try to disrupt the body. Amen. Yes. Yes. And he 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 is the, the master of dissension and the author. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We know that already. Amen. And that's what we got. Yes. Just like Bishop said, we got to stay focused, y'all. Amen. We we are mm -hmm. not, we are not weary concerning his devices. Amen. Mm -hmm. we, we as the, we mm -hmm. as the believers. Amen. We're per, we're privy to what the, what the enemy's uh, got tricks he got in his bag. Yes, yes, well, we yes. got to stay on guard. We got to watch as well as pray, as the scripture tells us. Amen. Mm -hmm, amen. Mm -hmm, amen. Mm -hmm. I'm saying I love what Bishop also said too. There, Amen. He said, uh, uh, aside from that, Amen. You know, just talk about you know uh, the agenda, and we got, and we just got to stay focused, y'all. Because mm -hmm. that's what it's just like he said. Now I was looking at that scripture too, Bishop, as you talked about. Uh, uh, that was John, actually, John, you referenced it was John chapter 10, verses 10 through 12, actually, too. He said, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Come not, but to what to kill, steal, and to, to, st uh, to steal, kill, and to destroy. But Jesus yeah. said, But I've come that they may have life, and then they may have all life more abundantly. And then he goes on to say also, too, in verse 11, he says, Well, I'm also too, I'm the good shepherd. And what does the good shepherd do? He giveth his life for the sheep. For us, you yeah. know, amen. But he that is a mm -hmm. high man and not the shepherd, whose own sheep or not, see if the wolf's coming. Amen? Mm -hmm. and, and that's, the, that's the enemy. And leave of the sheep. And, flee of, and what does the wolf do? The wolf, and that's what the devil want to do. He want to catch them. And he want to scatter the sheep, the scripture says. He wants to cause, yes. he wants to separate us. He wants to cause division. Amen? Yes. Because mm -hmm. guess mm -hmm. what? Because listen, the enemy already know we're stronger in numbers. Amen. Mm -hmm. God said, "If two or three are gathered in my name, He said He'd be in the midst." Yes. Yeah. If there's, if there's more than one, Amen. God is with us. Amen. We got to mm -hmm. remember. Mm -hmm. that, we got to keep the focus. Mm -hmm. Amen. We got to know mm -hmm. who our real adversary is. Amen. Mm -hmm. And we mm -hmm. got to keep focus. Amen. In regards to uh, 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 what our prime goal is. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. The of our God. Amen. Through our life. Amen. And we ain't gonna let no devil in hell. Amen. Mm -hmm. Separate us not only from his love, but from mm -hmm. each other. We're not gonna let it happen. Mm -hmm. That's we're right. That's that right. Mm -hmm. I'm determined. Glory to God to make the devil out of a liar. Yes, sir. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. And terrify the enemy. Yes, and to God to get the glory out of our life. Amen. Yeah. It's a kingdom mm -hmm. of, and the kingdom will expand and be enhanced. Why? Because we stuck together. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. To God's unchanging hand. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. I'm excited, Bishop. God bless you. I mean, I'm Amen. Amen. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Amen. Amen. Bless God. We running overtime, y'all. We running overtime. We got yeah, it. Right. Right. But I thank God mm -hmm. this is good tonight. This is good. Amen. Mm -hmm. and I pray. That, I pray that some, and, and I pray, and I know that somebody's been blessed. Amen. Yes. Somebody, mm -hmm. Amen. This recording, I don't know what time of the day or the night or whatever it may be, but Amen. We pray that this has been a blessing to you. Amen. And we want mm -hmm. to encourage you to walk in unity. Amen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. God, as believers, walk in unity. Amen. And I and I and I even ask you, even those of you that may not even know the Lord as Jesus Christ, your personal Savior, in watching this recording. Amen. It's an acceptable hour. Amen. Don't stop procrastinating. Amen. But choose ye this day whom you shall serve. Amen. Amen. Mm. We love you to life, everybody. We love you to life. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Glory to yeah. God. And anybody else, real quick, we're getting ready to cut off. Amen. But I thank God for you. Amen. If Amen. Not, there's no more questions or comments, we just thank God for the lesson on tonight. We're going to close out in prayer. 
Amen. I'm going to ask on tonight, amen, if uh, Sister Juanita Ray. All right. Take us, home and, take, us home and, take us home in prayer, Sister Ray. Amen. amen. Come on, come on. <laughs> amen. 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 Glory to God. Amen. Thank God for you. Amen. Thank you. We thank you for this night. We thank you for this gathering. We thank you for the word that has gone forth, for all of the participation. We're hoping that something has uh, down in our heart and soul to accept what the Lord is trying to tell us. We yes. thank you for the uh, the uh, early rising and, and hopefully everyone would have a good night's sleep. And we just pray to God that he'll continue to do what he do and that we continue to follow his precepts and his commandments and his guidance. Yes, All blessings we ask in his son. Amen. God bless you. Amen. 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 Real good, everyone, on tonight. Amen. Listen, do Amen. me a favor. Do us a favor. Don't forget, go to the YouTube channel. Like, share, and subscribe. All right? Amen. They say like, share, and subscribe. Mm. I can't hear nobody. Amen. <laughs> like, share, and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lord, We're going to try one more time. Somebody say like, share, and subscribe. Like, like, like share, share, and subscribe. And subscribe. <laughs> That's better. Praise God. Amen. Awesome. Listen, y'all have a blessed Amen. time. I'm going to send the text out. Those of you who can join us on the prayer conference call on tomorrow at 12 noon. Amen. And until then, amen. And the next time, amen, we pre we ask God oh. the blessings be upon you. Amen. And amen. Amen. Oh. we love y'all to life. God bless. Take care, everyone. Good night. Amen. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. God bless you. Good night. Good night. In Jesus' name. Amen. Don't forget that gets gone, Juanita. She heard you. God bless you. Amen. God bless you, baby. God bless you, Deacon. God bless you, all the Deeks. Amen. God bless you, Deacon. 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 God bless you, 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 God bless you,